And now, we're face to face with ourself. Anyway, Hedgy here, back with some more silver. In the last episode, we made our way through Silver Cave, and in this episode, we take out our inner demon. I have more hair than him, by the way. Oh my goodness, he's balding! I mean, what? Anyway, let's go and check out my Pokemon here. And we got... We got Raikou, who obviously knows Cut. We got... Okay. Raikou holding the EXP share with Cut, Synthesis, Razor Leaf, and Poison Powder. We got Kristen holding the Amulet Coin with Flamethrower, Crunch, Faint Attack, and Fire Blast. We got John holding Leftovers with Rollout, Toxic, Rest, and Body Slam. We have Cloudy the Pidgeot holding a Focus Man with Wing Attack, Fly, Gust, and Quick Attack. We have SMM holding Mystic Water with Protect, Whirlpool, Crab Hammer, and Surf. And we got Kelsey holding nothing with Tackle, Thunder Punch, Thunder Wave, and Thunder. So let's get us let's get us started. Let's get this party started, shall we? Let's talk to Mr. Baldy here. What you gotta say? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Well fine. Dot 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 to you too. Anyway, final battle. Now, for some epic music that we've already heard before. Okay, let's begin. Send out, he sends out first this level 81 freaking Pikachu against me because he thinks that this level 81 Pikachu is going to stop Raukau. Freaking level 81 Pikachu. Ah, you're no match for Poison Powder. Why? Because it's freaking Poison Powder. Of course he's no match for it. And your thunder isn't going to hit me all the time, bruh. Computer luck isn't going to apply to you this time, bruh. I done tried to record you multiple times, and bruh, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you now, and you're about to use a full restore engine. Ah, uh, you didn't, so I just wasted a turn. Okay. Thought he was going to use a full restore. So, uh, and of course I'm paralyzed now. It's fine, now he's going to use a full restore. Because I got him sub 30% health. Oh, well he didn't. Okay, that's fine. And now he gets to go first, so he takes damage from poison first. And then, Razor Leaf. Because I can. I'm sitting in a very uncomfortable position right now, trying to uh, balance my microphone with the rest of me. Anyway, I got gain some points. Twice. And now second, he's going to send out his level 77 Venusaur. So, Cloudy, your turn. All right. Now this Venusaur is tricky. Sometimes you use a sunny day first, and sometimes it uses solar try to use solar beam first. I'm gonna go ahead and use gust. On the off chance that it uses um solar beam first. And you use sunny day first, uh, of course. So now we're gonna fly. Because we can. To avoid getting hit with a barrage of solar beams. I think Solar Beam's only got 5 PP. I'll put it in annotations if I'm wrong. But aside from that, I think it only has like 5 or five or 10 PP. I'm not really sure. And of course, I get hit with a Solar Beam straight to the eye. I know Cloudy is now blind. Um. <laughs> yeah, but of course it's not very effective. So, go ahead and use another Gust. And I think that should finish off Venusaur. Yep. So Venusaur is gone. Okay, that's that's 2. Now third, he has this level 77 Blastoise, which I can just as easily finish off, if not easierly, er, er, yes, easier, earlier, easier than the um Venusaur. And I was hoping he'd go. For, he also he has Rain Dance, by the way, which I was well, I was hoping he'd go for. But he didn't, so I'm gonna try to use Thunder and miss. And the sunlight faded. But good, we're back to normal battle conditions now. Alright, so... I'm hoping he'll use Rain Dance. Yes! Okay, he used Rain Dance. Which basically set him up to faint. Alright, he... This Blastoise is stupid, really. I mean, go use Rain Dance on somebody who has Thunder. Thunder is 100% accuracy in rain. Not to mention it's powered up through Rain Dance. So... So yeah, he kind of screwed himself. 
Of course, Surf is also powered up through Rain Dance. I, th I don't know. I think Thunder. I think the Electric type moves are powered up though. We'll never find out. Hopefully, Kelsey will live. Yep. Kelsey gets the thunder off and wins. Beats the Blastoise. Yep, there we go. Blastoise gone. Kelsey gained some points. Raukau gained some points. And Raukau grew level 62. Okay, that's cool. So on to Pokemon number 4, Espeon. I think this is actually his weakest party member. Let's see. Yeah, this is his weakest party member at level 73. So, no big deal. No big deal at all. Let's go ahead and, um, crunch it up like it was no thing. Of course, now that it knows I put out a dark type, I, um, I mean, it's gonna use, uh, Swift. That's okay. Because a couple crunches should do the trick. Look at that. Look at that. Already less than half health now. That Swift does more. That Swift does pretty decent damage, though. But anyway, there you go. Two crunches, and Espeon is out. That's because Kristen is pretty dang powerful, I tell you. Alright, let's go ahead and tackle his most problematic Pokemon. Hit level, um... I think it's 77, Snorlax? 75, okay. No big deal. Go, John. <laughs> let's see if I can go ahead and get a Paralysis. Give me the Parahax, please. Parahex, can I has? I can't has? Yes! Okay. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Okay, you used Namnesia. I think Body Slam is physical, so... And the rain stopped. Hopefully he won't have it in him to use rest. And I can just keep whittling health away. And he's gonna use Body Slam on me again. And watch, I have a feeling he's gonna have to get the Parahex too. Okay, no he didn't. I just wanted to make sure it was like, wait a second. If I can get a pair of hacks in this turn, I should be just fine. Or if he keeps using Body Slam, that's fine too. Just survive one turn, John. Okay, yes, we're good, we're good. Now, another Body Slam should actually finish him off. I think, let's see. Yes, okay, Snorlax is gone. Nah, we have not much to worry about. I'm gonna leave John in there for one more turn. Let Raukau gain some experience. John grew up, uh, grew a level, by the way. Anyway, send out his final Pokemon, Charizard, level 77. So, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I actually leave John in there. I know this is probably gonna be problematic, but... John has leftovers. I'm just gonna throw out the Toxic and hope to God I hit, and I did not, because he had a Flamethrower. I need a chance to get to keep Kelsey alive. Cause now he's about to straight demolish my party since it's already weak from um from the um uh, previous five and I hadn't I don't have anything to heal with. And there's another flamethrower. If I can probably I'll probably put Kelsey in there, she could survive a turn. I uh, should be fine. That was a crit. I hate that. Ah, Okay, Kristen should be able to survive. Because she's also fire type, so... Let's go ahead and use a crunch. And it uses wing attack. What the heck? It didn't use wing attack in my practice plays. Oh, this is... This is... Not good. I'm putting Raukau in there for cannon fodder. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Since this is the last episode... I'm gonna go ahead and give Kelsey the max potion. And hopefully he'll miss hopefully Raukel will miss his next turn. So that way I can go ahead and uh use an attack. Of course he ain't gonna miss. So Raukel fan it. Suddenly my whole team's getting demolished at the very end of the game. The very, very last Pokemon. Okay, no big deal. Kelsey, you're in. And if need be, I'll just use, um, I'll just use, um, whatchamacallit, SMM as cannon fodder. I know, I don't really like using cannon fodder, but I don't have a choice. Start using Thunder Punch. Ooh, that's how you do it. And of course, Fire Spin hurts. 
Alright, so another Thunder Punch in the mat, in the, in the LP completely. Turns our new Flamethrower again. Kelsey, stay alive. Thank you. And the Thunder Punch should do it. There you go. You see, that's how you do it. All six of Red's Pokemon are gone. And Kelsey grew level, uh, grew level 68 with that, by the way. And that's how it ends. Well, there's her final attacks. I mean, her final stats. That special attack's pretty cool. Pretty good. And Pokemon Trainer Red was defeated. What you guys say? Dot, dot, dot. That's all anybody say is dot, dot, dot. Because I am officially the best trainer ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, $15,400. Sent something to mom and dot, 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 dot. I guess that's him saying. You are the very best trainer in all of Pokemon Silver. Congratulations. And on that note, he disappears. And the credits roll. Actually, I had pretty much a decent amount of fun playing this LP. And, I mean, sure, so, uh, Johto's not my favorite, uh, region. In fact, it's one of my least favorite. But, you know, I had fun playing it. And stuff yeah um <laughs> i guess the next uh there's not gonna be another episode to kanto because i mean silver because well red was the final final boss i mean there's really not much else i can do except get the rest of the pokemon and uh finish the pokedex which i don't plan to do on screen in fact i'm this is the last episode i'm, I'm through i'm glad to I'm glad to have shared this with y'all, and I'm glad to finally have this out of the way so I can focus on, uh, whatever my next LP is. Well, thanks for joining me. Till next time, everybody. Hedgy, out. <laughs>